You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Rudrans for Black and White Sports 2. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, like, comment, share. This is exactly the kind of thing that John Matrix and myself have been speaking out against for going on two years now. Really, it came to the limelight, the forefront, when a, a biological man by the name of Will Thomas decided to identify as a woman in NC2A swimming and call himself Leah Thomas and then promptly go out there and compete against women and dominate women. Now, we have said we're very concerned about the competitive nature of, of course, women's sports and the integrity. Most recently, biolog um, Megan Rapino came out and said she'd be just fine if there was biological men in the U.S. on the U.S. Women's National Squad, and they were competing against biological males. Again, she is conveniently retiring, so she doesn't have to play with them because we we'll, we know 15-year-old boys dominate the U.S. Women's National Squad. That's a thing. So, if that doesn't tell you all you need to know right there about this particular situation, well, I don't know what will tell you anything. We've also been banging the drum for the fact that we've said this is dangerous. Okay, there was a girl volleyball player in Vermont who essentially had her eye knocked out by a volleyball spike. From whom? A biological boy that is identifying as a girl. Well, guess what? In Green Bay, Wisconsin, they don't give a shit about your daughters and their safety. Or even, look, even, even the locker rooms, even the bathrooms. They have turned their backs on girls, on women, on girl sports, the integrity of it, and the safety of it because girls are getting injured, according to these parents, and they don't give a rip. I mean, what is going on in society right now is so troubling. It's so disturbing that a school is just going to come out, make a statement, and be like, mm, you know what, if they meet these really pathetic guidelines... No big deal. Nothing to see here. Your girls, if they want to play sports, are going to have to deal with it. That is so sad. It is so sad. Fox 11 News. Green Bay parents voice concerns about transgender athlete possibly on girls sports team. And this was an update. The parents were told at a meeting Thursday night that the student would be allowed to play as long as WIAA guidelines were met, and I would assume that's going to be Wisconsin guidelines. Parents with students in the Green Bay Area Public School District are voicing their concerns about a transgender athlete potentially participating in girls' sports. The district is expected to address the issue at a meeting Thursday night. Well, we just gave you the results of that. The school district told the parents, we don't give a F about your girls. For confidentiality reasons, Fox 11 has decided not to name the school or the sport involved. Why not? Why not? I would assume, from what is being said here, we're talking about volleyball. All right? Volleyball or softball, okay, was something that's being said here. If the transgender athlete is allowed to play on a girls' sports team, this fall, at least three sets of Green Bay parents say their daughters won't be participating. Boy, that's fair, isn't it? That's fair. Now, the biological boys are forcing the girls out due to their own concerns about their safety. This is pathetic. This is appalling. Quote, they're just not used to the ball coming at them that hard, said Ryan Gusick, one of the concerned parents. Tryouts for the sport are on Monday, but in summer practices and games... The parents say the girls are leaving with welts and bruises they've never received before. That is strength, folks. A competitive advantage from strength, leverage, wingspan. All these different things that make a boy, a man, stronger than a girl or a woman. And here they're telling you. 
welts and bruises, that is a safety issue. And this school, this school system is saying they don't give a rip about your daughters. A lot of these girls are specifically quitting this team because they're concerned for their safety, said Gosick. Fox 11 asked the parents if the athlete is the most dominant in the summer games and practices. Quote, got the most power, yes. Heather Longless, another concerned parent. The Green Bay Area Public School District does declined to provide anyone for an interview, but sent us a statement that says the district, quote, cares about the well-being of every student. That in itself right there is a lie. All decisions regarding a student's ability, you're clearly escalating the boys' rights over the girls. All decisions regarding a student's ability to participate in co-curricular athletics and activities are made in accordance with the Title IX law board policy and WIAA regulations. The WIAA has had a three-page policy for transgender athletes since 2015. According to WIAA Director of Communications, Todd Clark. So that's, that's how long you've been entertaining this bullshit. 2015, eight years? Wow. And guys, Wisconsin is a purple state. This is... This is so unbelievable. Clark tells Fox 11 he has never heard of any complaints about the policy or transgender athletes. Well, you are now. The parents are banging down the door telling you this person is hurting girls. Their girls are getting injured. And your school system is saying you don't care. However, he admits if there were complaints, the WIAA does not keep a record of it. Look at this. Not only are they allowing this, they're bucking responsibility. We don't want to provide somebody that you've got to talk to, that's got to answer for this, and we're going to make sure there's no paper trail. How shady is this shit? What is going on in Wisconsin right now? The policy states its goals are equity, physical safety, and competitive equity. Competitive equity. All right. It states, quote, a student's member's school will be the point of contact for determining the student's eligibility to participate in WIAA-sponsored interscholastic athletes. The policy also states a male-to-female transgender student must have one calendar year of medically documented, documented testosterone suppression therapy to be eligible for, to participate on a female team. Hmm, okay, so all the connective tissue, the cartilage, the growth, wingspan, height advantage, all this miraculously disappear because of some testosterone suppression, question mark? Yeah, yeah, we're not that stupid on this channel. Quote, the rules are very soft at best, Longless said. Transgender people deserve a seat at the table, it's just not necessarily the girls' table for sports when it's men going to women. The parents say there are also locker room concerns. The Green Bay School District policy for bathrooms states, quote, in most cases, a student who is transgender will will be permitted to access the men's slash women's segregated restrooms that correspond to the gender identity that the student consistently asserts at school and other social environments. (laughs) <laughs> Unbelievable. Your girl can't go in there to the bathroom without some kid that is potentially calling himself a girl is a biological boy sauntering in to her bathroom. Wow. For locker rooms, the district's policy states requests are assessed on a case-by-case basis. A statement from the district to Fox 11 states that the district works with transgender students to determine what they would prefer. However, they have a legal right to use the locker room. God, it's Leah Thomas all over again. With Riley Gaines out there banging the drum for how many swimmers did not agree to this situation and having to subject we're talking about 
school students, minors. If they choose to use the locker room they gender identify with, the students who may have concerns, the district will work to provide support. There's a lot of concern from a fair amount of girls about the situation in itself, said Gosick. Once again, that's a parent. A spokesperson for Green Bay Schools tells Fox 11 the parents of the transgender athlete declined the opportunity to be interviewed for this story. And it goes on to talk about the meeting, which they updated us on, where basically the school district told the parents to go get screwed. That's unbelievable, guys. Guys, we're talking about school, public school, minors here. I mean, look, biological males swinging into your daughter's locker room. And you're okay with this? Unbelievable. These parents are concerned as well they should be. I cannot believe what we are subjecting our minors to these days. It is so disturbing. I can't even begin to fathom that this is actually going on. I mean, my God, make straight straight jackets great again. Yeah. This is absolutely crazy. And the parents that are allowing, that are entertaining the kid that is trying to be whatever they're identifying with, man, it's unbelievable. These stories seem to get more disturbing every time they come up. And they're blatantly telling you they're getting injured due to power. And the school system says, we don't care. And and whether the school system likes it or not, that is essentially what they are saying. At the end of the day, we care more about the biological boy identifying as a girl than the actual girls. Wow. Tell me what you think, Black and White Sports 2 supporters. Peace, I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.